Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. Let me ask one question. Have you heard the word AI, artificial intelligence? Oh, you must be thinking, ma'am, are you kidding me? This word AI has already stolen my sleep. Ah, yeah, I know, that's right. But have you heard about AGI, artificial general intelligence? I know, many of you have heard this thing. But the actual question is, have you heard ASI, artificial super intelligence? I think not. Or maybe few of you have heard this thing, super intelligence. The phase where AI will surpasses us, surpasses human in every field, super intelligence. So maybe you haven't heard about this term, but these big companies have already started working on super intelligence. Open AI on 2023 itself, I think two years back, made a team to achieve super intelligence. So see in this blog, we need scientific, this is from Open AI. We need scientific and technical breakthrough to steer and control AI system much smarter than us. That is super intelligence. And to solve this problem, within four years, within four years, we are creating a new team. Okay, they are creating a new team. So it's like they have already uh, started working on super intelligence. Super intelligence will be the most impactful technology humanity has ever invented. And within four years, so it's like their aim is still 2027 because they have already formed a team in 2023 right and now also you see this uh, the blog of sam altman i'll give you the link of these thing in the description box of uh, this video you go and check out you can read this see we are past the event horizon and the takeoff has started humanity is close to building digital super intelligence super intelligence so they have already like started working on this okay there's one more news how ai is sam altman is thinking about agi and super intelligence in 2025 this year See, we are now confident that we know how to build AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. They know what is how to build AGI and we have traditionally understood it. So now they, are, they have started working on super intelligence, super intelligence, right? And it's like he said that in 2025, may see the first AI agent join the workforce. So yeah, recently I've heard these terms, agentic AI, AI agents. So these are work, I mean, trending nowadays. So maybe within two to three months or uh, in the last of this year, you will see a robot sitting beside you or in, a co in that company and working with you. So, we can't say this thing. Meta. Meta is also creating a new lab, new AI lab to pursue super intelligence. So, Meta has, I think you have heard this news, have already hired those, uh, uh, you know, elite researchers and talent from those big companies also, even from OpenAI, DeepMind and all. So, Meta has already started working on uh, achieving super intelligence. So, the point here is all these big companies are in the race of um, achieving super intelligence. But now, let me just clear this thing. What is AGI? What is ASI? So, um, there is a book, Super Intelligence, Path, Dangers, Path and Strategies, something like this. And the author is uh, Nick Bostrom. The link of this book also I'll give you in the comment section. You can go and check out. If you want to buy this, you can buy and read out this book. This is the book. I think published in 2020, uh, 2014. So in this book, according to the author, he categorized AI in three levels. See, three. these are three levels. Artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, and artificial super intelligence. So now, right now, the power we have, we hold is generative AI. And that comes in this level. Artificial narrow intelligence. Yeah, we know what is generative AI. AI can create new content based on the training data. Generate images, video, audio, compose music and code and anything. But they, these models have already trained on a huge amount of data and accordingly, they like uh, recognize the pattern, pattern learning and all. And based on that, they just predict the next word or they just generate new data. They can't learn themselves. It's something like this. So it's generative AI, basically. And it's not magic. Behind the scene, it's math, data, probability, those deep learning models, neural networks, those models, LLMs, trained on uh, billions of data, huge amount of data. And that's how things are working. Okay. So that is generative AI. They're trained and then they give you the output based on trained data, based on pattern matching. But they don't actually understand things. We know you use ChatGPT or Gemini, Cloud or these things. So you will ask anything, ChatGPT will answer. But ChatGPT doesn't actually understand what you are asking. It's just predicting the next word, word by word, everything. Okay. So it is happening behind the scene. They don't actually having those general intelligence. They don't understand things. 
so that is generative ai and this things comes under ani artificial neuro intelligence right it excels whatever we have now these tools and all generative ai it is good in content creation or whatever you want to create they can create but lacks true understanding true understanding or general intelligence so the second phase is a gi artificial general intelligence what it means like we human have this general intelligence it's like um, let me just give a real, a real life example suppose you and your friend at very first you were like really nice to your friend and help him and all so friend your friend is also nice to you and over the period of time you maybe uh, you started ignoring him or you uh, uh, rudely talk to him and something like this so now your friend understand your behavior and your friend also behave in the same manner he will not be nice to you anymore that is general intelligence we understand things the behavior the emotions and all but ai system machine doesn't understand these things they don't have true understanding if suppose maybe um uh, let's say in your family everyone is everyone um, is sitting there and maybe you come and you say where shall i sit where will i sit here so uh, sometime your mom say that you sit on my head maybe she is angry or just in funny way sit on my head so it's not like that you will properly literally you go there and sit on her head no you understand things right like maybe just in funny way she is uh, saying something like this or maybe she is angry because of that so we understand things so that is general intelligence general intelligence so now we haven't achieved this thing agi but yeah maybe according to sam altman uh, in the last of this year or maybe next year we'll have some agi system also uh, like we don't know so that is agi it will not just follow instructions it will learn it will think it will plan it will like like it can do anything it is more co like cognitive as we have the cognitive abilities right true understanding so the system will also have those cognitive abilities right so it's like these uh, would be same as our human intelligence level it's like that it's like they can learn anything just imagine they now whatever we are having the models or the ai models they we train them on data and they learn but what if these models learn itself a new programming language in just one day without any training they learn when they interact with us like we human do we interact with some other people with society and all so from our experience and all because we have that um, you can say brain so we understand things so we learn things so same the system will also learn when you interact there is no need of training anymore we won't need training on specific task it will learn as it interacts that's it but still we haven't achieved this thing right it's still theoretical no system has achieved true general intelligence till now artificial super intelligence so it means those asi represents intelligence vastly superior to human cognitive abilities may means in simple form these ai system will surpasses humans in every domain whether it's like a creativity science arts technology or any other thing in every field they will surpass us why so because they will learn itself like once you achieve agi once we achieve agi once these companies be like able to achieve agi it means in that form these uh, system will learn itself they don't need any training now because of this only because of this automatic or self uh, learning they will improve automatically they will learn things quickly and we know that a machine can learn quickly rather than human human do so that's why they'll be super intelligent they'll surpass us in every field so asi would surpass humans in memory creativity processing speed in anything because of self improvement because they will enhance their self right and because of this also maybe we we were we were able to solve those uh, impossible problems like aging or climate change or maybe uh, finding a cure of any disease something like this we don't know okay so according to the author i have told you a book also nick bostrom once we achieve agi then asi would be no longer i mean not very far from us we will achieve asi within weeks or maybe within months or maybe within days according to him so now you can imagine at this time only uh, you are saying that ai has taken so many jobs and it's true and will we get a job in future or not 
but we are still in ani phase you are still in ani narrow intelligence phase once agi comes one asi comes so it's purely theoretical now asi purely so maybe it take decades uh, five year eight year 10 year 15 year like we can't say according to sam altman they'll achieve this this kind of thing within few uh, thousand days but it's a vague statement few thousand days so maybe eight year 10 year 15 year he is not clear about that thing but yeah once we reach to this agi or asi phase what will happen so a even once we reach to agi phase that these machines are as equal level with us not surpasses it but at equal level in that case only like maybe there will be like a loss of many jobs now we flex that we are creative human are creative we can plan things complex things and ai can only we just give prompts and ai can answer us accordingly but ai cannot do itself it doesn't understand things but after agi comes general intelligence achieved then it can plan things also complex things so maybe it will take those creative jobs as well so we can't say about future right so i'm not going to like um, scare you uh, right now but according to whatever the things are working and according to the articles and how these big companies are working on all the ai kind of thing according to that only i'm just telling you about the future what can be the future of ai okay now at last i just want to tell you one thing if you want to start learning uh, ai send there is a course my course generative ai course for beginners so you can go for this course also um here basically it is for beginners so uh, just eight hour course and we will cover from scratch like what is artificial intelligence what is machine learning what is deep learning history of ai just in brief not in that much high level because uh, it's generative ai course but you understand before going to generative ai you need to understand these things also because generative ai is basically subset of deep learning deep learning is subset of ml ml is subset of ai so you need to understand these things also so we'll cover i'll cover these things also like and then some key concept to some what what is chat gpt what is prompt engineering then what is tokenization llm embedding prompt engineering frag fine tuning and then ultimately we'll make a mini project we'll create an own chatbot by right? using using rag technique so um if you are interested if you want to at least start you can go for this course it's for beginners so if you don't know anything about ai you can go for this course right and after completion you will get a course completion certificate as well so um, the link of this course also you will get in the description box of this video you can go and check out and all the other links whatever we have discussed the blogs and all all the links you will find in the description box so that's it for today now if you want me to upload more such kind of videos or any specific topic on like ai agents or agi or something like this you can just let me know in comment section so now we'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care